Okay, so this is chapter 15. Again, this is uh, Ong Song Hong's book. This is a chapter called A Study on the New Jerusalem of Revelation 21. Again, I'm going to put a link to this book in the description of the video so that you guys can read this yourself. So you're the under 2 thing, Corinthians 11, 2 through 3? Right. And that's the okay. first thing that I think is important to look at. Because, again, keep in mind, earlier we read that the WMS uses in the staff, chapter 1, they look at 2 Corinthians 11, 2 as an example of the church, uh, of where the, the, the church is the bride of Christ. They look at that and they use 2 Corinthians 11. They pull it out as an example of why the church in 2 Corinthians 11, or the bride in 2 Corinthians 11 is different than the one in Revelation. But what Ong Song Hong does here with 2 Corinthians 11 is the exact opposite. So right here in the book, Ong Song Hong quotes 2 Corinthians 11, 2 through 3. And in the context of what he's doing with that verse is he's using it as support to show that the bride in Revelation is the same bride as in 2 Corinthians 11, 2 through 3. So immediately you mm -hmm. have Ong Song Hong flat out as clear as day refuting and, and contradicting uh, what the WMSCOG is arguing in the staff of Moses. Then he goes on, and, and I'll have this pulled up on screen, but there's a quote underneath that uh, 2 Corinthians verse that he mentions. He, and this is what right. he says. He says, the bride of the lamb, this is who, okay, we just got done. Listen, think about this. We just got done reading in the staff of Moses chapter one, where the WMS says, can we say that the bride in Revelation is the church or the saints? And their answer, no, we can't. Well, right. let's see what Ong Song Kong says. This is what he says. The bride of the lamb are the 144,000 saints who have accepted the gospel. In addition, it is stated that there is a, a tabernacle, New Jerusalem, that the Lord has prepared. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so there's several other quotes we're going to read, but what's your what's your guys' thoughts on, on those two things? Well, I just think it's funny because, I, I, like like you mentioned, he's, he's mentioning Revelation 21, Two through three, Revelation twenty one nine to ten, which is like the one of the main verses that the WMS uses to sh to explain, you know, why the bride is God the mother, and then Revelation nineteen, another big verse, right? Um, and then he gets into Second Corinthians, which he ends it with Second Corinthians before you know his statement that clearly says that the bride is the saints, bride of the saints, right? Right. So. I just think it's, you know, it's, it's <laughs> interesting that way because the WMS has a reverse order. <laughs> so I just, I yeah, just they noticed they split this. Them up. <laughs> uh, one second. So Revelation 19, if you back up actually right before 2 Corinthians 11, this is probably important to read uh, mm -hmm. because this is where you kind of, I, right now I've, it feels like I'm just kind of saying that Ong Song Hong uses 2 Corinthians to argue that way. But this is where you kind of see it as proven. So he quotes Revelation 19, 7 through 8, which says this. It says, Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Then Ong Song Hong says this in response to that verse. He says, Fine linen, this is part of the verse still, or the explanation, fine linen stands for the righteous acts of the saints. So then this is Ong Song Hong's words. He says, In the same way, the Apostle Paul says, and then he quotes 2 Corinthians 11, 2 through 3. So he's saying so what is that he that saying? bride is, is yeah, the he, saints. He's, he's connecting the bride yeah. of Revelation 19 and saying, in the same way the, the right. Bible talks about the bride in Revelation, Paul talked about the bride in the same way about the saints in 2 Corinthians. Yep. Steve, yep, I cut yep. you off earlier. so No, it, not, not at all. Um, I was just going to say uh, it's interesting that not only the doctrines – of the WSC today, the modern church are contradicted by, you know, An Sung Hong, but the very reasoning and the understanding of scripture to get there was contradicted very clearly by An Sung. Just a simple point. Yep. So, okay, then let's drop down to chapter 16. Again, chapter 16 of Ong Song Hong's book. This chapter is called, She Claims to Be the Only Bride. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to drop down to... Uh, the, the sentence where he says, next, let's examine the biblical passages of the issue of the bride. Do you guys see that? Yep, I see Okay, it. so here's Ong Song Hong. Okay, now, Revelation twenty two seventeen. the spirit and the bride say, come. This is like, this is their real kicker. Okay, so again, this is what, this is in, in the uh, chapter one of the Staff of Moses book, they will refer to this, this verse. I think, I think right. they refer to it here. But... This is what Ong Song Hong says about that verse. 
Okay, it is written, this is Ong Song Hong's words, it is written that the spirit and the bride say, come, in Revelation twenty two seventeen, It is true that the bride here is the same bride found in Revelation 21, 9 through 10. Since it is written, come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the lamb. The wife of the lamb is the saints. Very okay. direct. Okay, so listen to this. You have the staff of Moses, the World Mission Society saying, can we say that the bride in Revelation is the saints? Their response, no. No. They say, no, you can't say that. You ask Ong Song Hong, Ong Song Hong, can we say that the bride in Revelation is the saints? And he says, yeah, absolutely. That's who the bride is. It's the saints, it's the church. He says this as clear as day.